Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll grab him. Yeah, I'll, I, have, I have John here. Hey, John. Oh, hey, boss. It's not my fault, you know I had to walk. Yeah, I'll, I'll get him uh, some content uh, creation there. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, got it. So there's me task for you. Just stay the same. And the okay. So basically, head of marketing told us that instead of having you here and create a daily one post on Instagram, which takes a lot of time, right? So we want to reuse our old content, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm in the middle of something, but yeah, I can, I can, I can do. Yo, it means that basically whatever we have old posts, we'll get them, we'll put them uh, through some filter, uh, so it looks like a different photo, kind of, and then uh, also uh, you'll have to paraphrase the text, okay? So you'll have to write a description which is a little bit different. So that's the task for you for today. Oh. And that would be great if you can like work on like 15 photos today or like something like that. Can you do that for us? I mean, yeah, but that's that's yeah, that's a long lot of work, I guess. Yeah, I mean, okay, let's just make a 10 and tomorrow 10 will be fine for you. We really need to have it. So yeah, John, good luck with that and I'll see you later. Oh, oh okay. Boss, yeah, I'll make it, I guess. Oh shit. Hmm. Okay, so we have to use the old content of the company and then change the text. It's not that hard, but it's like 10 or 15 posts. It will take me a while, I guess. And we also don't have saved our photos. I have to like download them first. Then I have to rewrite the content by par paraphrasing and damn it, that will be too long to do manually. But wait, there was this guy. The Hackerman, Hackerman, how was it? Python programming, right? I guess. The result is 4, then 4 is multiplied by 3 times 12, and finally 12 is added to 10. So x would be 22. Accuracy. Oh okay. shit! Now I'm doing whoa, 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 where are we? Oh my god. I think I slept. <gasps> Oh my god, there's already four. I have just one hour to do this task. I don't know when I buy from what. Wait, what is this? Hmm? What? What is this? Hey guys, so uh, the idea is simple. We want to uh, reuse our old content on Instagram and basically create the new posts with, with this. And in order to do this, I decided to basically use old photos and put a different filter on them. Like literally we can just use different filter and we'll always change the look, right? Like there are so many cases that people do a lot of photos from the same photo session and basically they test different filters on them and then after a few months or after like even a few weeks, they post the same photo with different filters. And I think it's totally okay. And the idea behind it is the lifespan, right? On the Instagram is basically two to three days. And then basically the post is old and people can't see it. So that's why I thought it would be cool. And the second thing is, Maybe, maybe we want to be more creative with the description of the Instagram post. So I thought we can use some of those uh, tools for paraphrasing stuff. So basically they'll be the same description, but paraphrased. And yeah, I found the nice tool and basically we use Selenium to do this. And so basically it'll be all automatically, it'll be copying that description from Instagram post and pasting this to the tool processing it and then we'll get the data back uh, it will be, and it should be the new description. So let's code this thing now. All right, so let's stop here for a second after coding this feature. So this is the par part one. Um, basically, this code is responsible for getting data from Instagram uh, about my, uh, like, the link to the photo if, and the description. So, as you can see here, 
uh, we can extract the photo URL and the text, which will be par paraphrased later, and the photo will be also like filtered. Uh, uh, just yeah, we'll be changing the colors there. But yeah, anyway, this is very simple code. Um, I took it from one of my previous projects, and so what we do here is we do a request to Instagram with the headers. Um, then after we get the response from our profile, we go to extract JSON data. This function basically finds the body and the script because it returns the script tag and then mm, we do some kind of replacement I found those methods actually online uh, many many times so this is how it is on Instagram uh, we don't really need to deep dive here and we return the JSON so after we get a JSON uh, in the end we are going to get the posts uh, from this JSON so just Instagram posts uh, which means photo URL and text and we only will be taking the uh, images we don't want to take uh, videos so this is the simple function and as you can see uh, yeah it works so let's uh, go to the next feature All right, guys, so uh, the next step is done. Basically, after we gather the information from Instagram in the first function, uh, then we are going to put filters on our photos. So this is the recycling the photos part, right? So we, we have the function here, which like uh, we first iterate over the photos, right? The posts, let's all call them. And we put the filter on a photo. So this is the function. First, we get the actual uh, JPEG from Instagram and then we create the directory with it. Um, so this is the function which also creates the directory if there, there is no, uh, like this content number number. So if you if you look closely here after the execution and the content, we have eight, um, we have eight posts basically, right? So for each post, we'll have uh, that normal photo and the edited photo. And the whole magic actually happens here, pulled filter and save photo. So this is the math behind it. And basically what I did is I read this article uh, about actually putting filters on the photos. And I had to did some, like I, I did some small changes. So basically in order to just gather the photo itself, right? I, I had to find, find the function internet to save it. Um, and also like put it to smaller functions, but basically uh, almost everything like the whole logic is uh, from from this post. Okay, let's do the next part, which is para paraphrasation. All right, guys. So the, the last part is basically about para making a paraphrase from our uh, description of on Instagram post. Basically, we don't want to post the same thing. We want to change it a little bit. And basically I found some online tools. So for example, this one, it's a paraphrase online. And basically on the left side, we need to paste the uh, text, click paraphrase, and then it will automatically uh, paraphrase our text. So as you can see, uh, it actually is it's doing a pretty good job, right? Uh, it, it's actually changing the, 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 the whole thing. Uh, so it, of course it's not the best, but in my opinion, it's 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 actually worth it for for those video purposes. And I believe there are uh, like more advanced, uh, more advanced software than this. But what is great about this one is we can actually use it, and we'll basically use Selenium on that, and we'll automatically put on the left side. Uh, the text with Python, we'll click the paraphrase, we'll wait for a text, and after we get the text, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. So this is what we'll be building in, in, in the Selenium right now, the, the, the function. Let, let's, let's get there, let's get there. All right, guys, so um, you just saw very quickly time lapse that it works. Basically, you can open the browser, paste it and wait for it and get it back. But we can make it in a headless mode. So as you can see here, if we go to paraphrase um, here, I can do headless mode. So basically, it'll be in the background. We don't need to open the browser, right? Um, yeah, so it works. Let's just uh, check everything last time, how actually it looks like.
All right, guys, so our script is done. Let's see the results. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, uh, you can check the link links like to the GitHub, to my Instagram and so on in the description. And again, uh, I'm running the software agency together with my friend, which is actually mostly focused on those kind of projects, the automation projects, but of course, big one. And if you know someone that we can actually work for, uh, send us the DM, send us the DM or send us the email. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, and see you next time, guys. Bye bye.